Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can download and copy text from a view only published Google spreadsheet. Let's get right into it. So you've been given access to a published Google spreadsheet, but there's one problem. There's data on that spreadsheet that you want to copy and maybe put in your own spreadsheet. And I'm going to be showing you how you can do that. So we're going to get right into it. So the first step is, we just want to right click on the web page and click save as. Then what we want to do is we want to download this web page as a HTML file. So it will already have a name, but we're going to change it up and call it YT video. So it's super secret data, Google Drive, ytvideo.html. Make sure the file ends with .html and the rest of the name doesn't matter. Also, for the save as type, make sure it's web page HTML only. And if it's not that, you want to click on this drop down box and make sure HTML only is selected. If we do single file or complete, this is not going to work. It needs to be HTML only, so it just captures the data we want, not all of the formatting associated with it, because that formatting will contain copy protections which are awkward to get around. Whereas if we just download the HTML only, it won't include it. So make sure it's web page HTML only. And then we can click on save. And after that, you need to then locate where the file is downloaded. So if you're in Google Chrome, you can click on the downloads button up here and then just click on the little folder by the file you downloaded. Otherwise you need to navigate to it manually. And now what you want to do is you want to open up this HTML file in a web browser of your choice. So you can either just double click on it or you can right click, then go to open with and then pick a web browser of your choice. So I'm going to be picking Google Chrome. And now we've opened it up and you can look in the URL. This is our local file. And if we click on them, we can see we can access all of the different sheets in the spreadsheet. But you'll notice a couple of things. Firstly, where are the where are the table lines and where are the letter columns and this won't include them however if we were to copy everything from one of the sheets so we can either drag to select it all or press ctrl a and then select everything but if we just copy by click and drag in to make sure our mouse goes over everything to make all of this text blue and then we right click and click on copy and then we open up Google Sheets to make a new sheet. Then if we open up a blank spreadsheet, there are two things we can do. We can either click on this box here that's next to the A and next to the one and then right click and click on paste. And this will paste all of that data with the same cell structure. Now, obviously we're going to need to expand the widths of the columns, but as you can see, it's kept them in the same cell structure as it has here, which is great because we've essentially copied the data from the published Google Sheet into our own Google Sheet. Now, you may want to delete the rows here, which is fine, but as you can see, we've got the same data preserved. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just copy and paste in another sheet from the published spreadsheet into our own Google Sheet. So we're going to go back to super secret data that we have locally and then go to click on copy of sheet one. And let's say we try and copy this sheet, but we're a little bit clumsy and we don't fully select everything. And then we click on copy and then we go in and we make a new sheet. We click on the box here and then we right click and click on paste it's not going to preserve the formatting. So we're going to hit Control Z to undo all of that. And then we're gonna go back to our super secret sheet. And if you are struggling to copy stuff and you're finding the data is not keeping the same rows and column structure like it does in the published version, what you can do is as a little cheat is hit Control A on your keyboard to select everything. Then you can click on copy after right clicking and then you do the same thing where you click on the box here, right click, click on paste, 
it will reliably preserve the cell structure that you had before. Now you are going to have to delete this section here because it's going to contain data you don't want. But look, we've now preserved the same structure. So you can either drag everything, but sometimes this can be unreliable or awkward because if you don't drag everything, you don't get the same cell layout as you did with the published Google Sheet. But if you're struggling with that, you can press Control A on the keyboard, then you can right click and copy, and then you can easily paste it in by clicking on here, this box here, and clicking paste. So, that's how you can copy data from a view only, published Google spreadsheet, and also have a local copy of the data and access the different sheets in the spreadsheet. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.